Hey guys, so uh, take a look at Pokemon White version 2 for the Nintendo DS. Now, as you can see by the Peggy Racing, this is the UK version, so it's actually a rather bulky box. And uh, we've got this great shot of Kyram's fusion with Reshiram. Uh, yeah, we've got all this great fire effect going on, it uh, looks pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, so this is the first direct sequel, well, at least the first direct sequel with a 2 in its name in the Pokemon series. Uh, personally, I consider Gold and Silver and Crystal to be the first direct sequels because they hugely tie into Red and Blue. But um, yeah, regardless, it's uh, you know it, it was a very different move and a bit nicer than just having you know grey version basically. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so on the side we just have a pretty standard amount of stuff, you know, just for logo and then it written out again in uh, some you know, pretty standard lettering. I don't really know why I had to write it twice, but uh, anyway. And uh, then on the back we get our few screenshots. We have uh, our starter Pokemon, of course, and we have the uh, the new two trainers, who honestly I'm not a big fan of. Uh, I, I much preferred the uh, black and white trainers, particularly the male trainer. But uh, anyway, so we have uh, a very nice shot of Kyram's fusion with Reshiram and 3D there. So. <laughs> Film movies at Pokestar Studios. A mysterious scientist. A new story. Yeah. <laughs> Seems a bit of a weird, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me the way they do that, but anyway. And uh, most of the box is actually taken up just by a whole lot of legal stuff or, <laughs> or you know, just tiny little descriptions about, you know, this is Pokemon White version 2. The types and likelihood of Pokemon that will appear differ from Black version 2. Buy or both of them. <laughs> and of course advertisements for Pokemon Dream Radar and all that sort of thing, so... Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a weird back cover, it's not really that interesting. Now over here we have the uh, cartridge, of course, which just has this nice white and uh, kind of like fiery red... Uh, you know, background going on, as well as the logo. And uh, yeah. Also got Ad for Club Nintendo in the background. Now, we have, of course, our manual, and uh, we get another great shot of uh, Kyram's fusion with Reshiram, uh, but it's uh, nothing that exciting, uh, although we do get this kind of cool fire effect that spreads over to the back of the cover. Now, I've got to say, this manual really disappointed me. Uh, simply because Pokemon manuals, even with black and white, are still pretty good. Um, this one, though, is just... I mean, it's in full colour, so that's nice. And we do get screenshots from the game. But, there's basically no artwork. No, you know, interesting fun things or maps of the region or anything like that. It's just your stock standard manual, and for Pokemon, that seems really disappointing to me. Because Pokemon has always maintained really good manuals, but, yeah. So, anyway, there's that. Now what we do get is an advertisement for Pokemon Dream Raider, so uh, <laughs> give us more money basically. Um, Pokedex 3D Pro as well, which is uh, admittedly a pretty cool little application. And uh, I've only got the free version that came out when uh, the eShop was first launched for the 3DS, but uh, you know it was pretty cool being able to see all the uh, 3D renders of the Pokemon. Pokemon website, Pokemon trading card game. Get connected at Pokemon Global Link, uh, and Pokemon Typing Adventure. <laughs> so yeah, lots and lots of Pokemon stuff for you to buy, or uh, get in line with. So yeah, that's in full color, and this, you know, this looks pretty nice as an advertising pamphlet. We get our standard, ridiculously thick Nintendo Wi-Fi instruction booklet. Uh, I don't really know why it needs to be so complicated, but yeah. We get our consumer and uh, important information booklet. And we get our Club Nintendo uh, card booklet thing. So, yeah. And uh, that's basically Pokemon White too. So, yeah, the packaging I wasn't really, you know, that happy with. Just because, again, Pokemon's always maintained a really good standard in what it comes with and, you know, how it's all done. It's really fancy and there's a lot of thought put into it. Um, but in terms of the game itself, I mean, this is a really great Pokemon game. 
Uh, I think I enjoyed Black and White 1 a little bit more in some ways, but uh, overall I think they did a really fantastic job with this. So uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to Pokemon X and Y. So thanks a lot for watching guys, and I will see you later.